it's an exciting time to play Dungeons and Dragons right now. A lot of stuff's coming out, a lot of announcements, a lot of releases, and it's no different here. I got some big stuff coming. Okay, so I normally don't do videos like this, but I really wanted to let you guys know what's coming out and some big, huge stuff that's happening here. So if you already didn't know, I just went full time here on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And that is not from anything having to do with YouTube, but that is 100% having to do with you guys. Your support of what I do over on my Patreon and over on my website is entirely how I'm able to do this. So first of all, thank you. And starting this month to thank you even more for that support, I am doubling the amount of PDFs that me and my team make every single month. The two big goals here are one, to customize your game to best fit the way that you want to play it, and two, to lower that game prep time, whether with adventures or magic items, NPCs, monsters, things that you can just take and use in your campaigns right now. So basically these two PDFs solve those two problems. One of them being the DC Playbook, which is general and universal resources you can plug into your games right now. They vary slightly from month to month to always give you something, but they have things like monsters, magic items, bonus level up perks to customize your characters with, NPCs, locations, and more. And then this second PDF, which is going to be a standalone separate from this whole thing, because I didn't want to just have a bunch of generic universal resources. I wanted to have a separate standalone PDF to be able to really dive into some of the stuff y'all have seen that me do already. In full enchanting systems, lycanthropy systems, gem cycling systems, herbalism systems, so many different homebrew things that you can choose to use in your games or not. But this PDF won't just be those types of homebrew resources. It could be entire settings, entire adventures. This month, which is the launch of everything, is adventure shorts. The concept here that me and my team are introducing of these adventure shorts is a full adventure might be a little hard to puzzle piece and fit into and be more of a commitment to put into your campaigns. But adventure shorts are a very efficient adventure packed into a very few amount of pages, giving you just what you need and generic enough that you can plug it into literally any campaign session you want. The most amount of content and the least amount of pages, I can't wait to see what you guys think about this. Here's the newspaper headline for this month's three adventure shorts that we're packing in there. Defend a village from raiders. You can easily put that any village. What village you want it to be? Who knows? End an undead plague and investigate the disappearance of adults in a nearby village. So we got disappearances, we got village defense, and we have undead. Pick whichever one you want, but you could probably weave all of them into your world. So now how to get your hands on these things, and then I'll talk about that sneak peek and that spell jammer stuff. Any patrons are going to be able to get anything that I produce here with first. PDFs go. I'm always going to be thinking my patrons first because that's how I'm able to do everything that I'm able to do. So patrons are going to get it first and cheapest over on Patreon. All patrons at the $10 level and above get the DC playbook. And then for the next tier up from that is the $15 tier, which also gets the DC playbook and all the other bonuses and rewards besides all these playbooks. There's a lot of stuff on there that I try and give you guys to say thank you. But you also get that bonus feature PDF with the homebrews and adventures and all that. And beyond that, there's even more bonuses and rewards too like voting on different videos and content that we put into these playbooks. Access to my DM binders and you see all the behind the scenes of how I run my games and then chances to play in D&D one shot. So if you didn't already know, the link to my Patreon is always down in the description. You go check it out for yourself and see what fits you best. But getting all these resources doesn't just mean you get great content. It means you are supporting me and my team of doing and trying to reach and go for what we're doing here. Without the initial support from all my patrons back before, I would not have been able to make Alcanter's Almanac of all things and that huge Kickstarter that we did to innovate and change up the game. So support in any way is massively appreciated because I would not be able to be here without you all. So thank you. And for this free PDF, look down in the description. There'll be a link for the free PDF, which is a sample of the DC playbook. A lot of different little snippets of pages from different stuff that you could see you could put in your games. And this happens every month. And the big announcement is Spelljammer. I hear you guys and I've heard my patrons as well. And that's the main point of all. I'm trying to get up, keep good pulse check on all the people that support me so that I can make the stuff that those people can help you guys the most. So Spelljammer, a lot of the stuff that I heard was there's a big, big gaps on ship to ship combat, ship travel, the space travel mechanics of how things work. A lot, they needed more rules and dare I say mechanics, which is where me and my team shine the most. And that's where we're going to come in and knock it out of the park with a full blown feature of a spell jammer resource. I'm talking ship to ship combat, travel mechanics, build your own ship, how space works, how traveling through space works, magic items, spells, all <laughs> The list goes on. Even a new race and faction paying respect to the Protoss from StarCraft, which uh, me and my team <laughs> love so much. So that is going to be coming out in December. Uh, we are working on it right now. So anyway, if you can't tell, I'm excited. And if you can't tell, I hope you see how much I appreciate you guys. And thank you. And if you've watched this long in the video, especially this kind of video that's a little bit different than normal. I really want to see what your comments are down in the comment section on what you want to see in this spell gem resource or any resource that I make, all the stuff that me and my team make. I want to know what would help you the most, literally 
you and that's weird you <laughs> like i want to know what would help you the most so that we can try and add that to the list and add, compile it in there and make some stuff for you so until next time stay creative think outside the box peace